Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in Microsoft Edge and also with most other browsers, if you hit your main menu, help and feedback or about um, in other browsers, this process will force a browser update if it hasn't done so already. And when the browser updates, as you may well know, if you view this channel, um, when the update is complete, here to the right hand side, you will see a restart button which you need to click on to obviously apply the update. Now in regards to the browser restarting, something we've been talking about on the channel that's uh, been worked on by Microsoft in preview is a feature called Instant Updates, which is a feature Microsoft is working on to address delayed browser updates um, in the Edge browser. And although it still requires a restart, um, Instant Updates restarts your browser automatically as mentioned basically in the background. Now currently instant updates uh, is available for managed devices in the beta channel with Edge version 131 which is the next stable release. Not available um, as yet in preview for so-called normal versions or consumer versions of Edge but for Edge for Business which would be your enterprise version of the browser. But I personally do think um, there is a good chance it will make its way into the consumer version of the browser. That's why I'm posting this video, just to kind of keep us all on the same page with this feature. And as mentioned, it restarts the browser automatically. And how it does this, if you are not using your PC f uh, for f 15 minutes, so if no activity has been recorded for 15 minutes, um, it will then, if, there, if it detects an update in Microsoft Edge, it will restart your browser automatically. Um, if you haven't been working on your PC for 15 minutes. Now, something to take note of, and this is just to give you a heads up. According to Microsoft, the feature does not take into account, though, when it does restart automatically, if it doesn't detect any activity for 15 minutes, it doesn't take into account unsaved work on websites or web apps. With Microsoft saying this, and I'm quoting, this feature is designed to update the browser when you aren't actively using it. But there's a risk of content input loss. If you have unsaved work, open tabs or open tabs that could be lost or closed during the update. While not an exhaustive list, content input loss might occur in the following scenarios, unsaved documents and unsaved incomplete forms. So basically the long and the short of all that is if you are away from your PC, and it decides to automatically restart if you don't have any saved work that could be lost. So just a quick heads up. Now, although that is the case, um, the so-called good news is that the feature will be a setting in the settings of Edge that will be disabled by default. So you will actually have to manually turn on instant updates in Edge for this feature to be enabled and for those automatic restarts to be applied. So I think that is a, a, a step in the right direction. At least you've got an option. And the other thing is that the browser will also display a five minute prompt before it actually restarts. So if you um, come back and you see that, you obviously then can save your work as a kind of safety net or you can cancel the restart. So there, there is good news. It, it's disabled by default and it will show you a five minute prompt before it does restart which i think is good and at this stage it's unclear according to microsoft whether it's going to obviously roll out for the consumer version of edge um in the future but i personally think that will happen i don't see why microsoft won't roll it out to so-called personal users of the browser but just making your way it's in beta in 131 and although it's in beta um it's very close to stable release uh always say um, any feature in preview, there's always a good chance it may never make its way uh, into the so-called stable version. And this has been a feature that has been in preview and then it was announced by Microsoft, as I've mentioned in previous videos, that it would make its way into the stable um, version or the next release of Edge and it never happened. So it's still in beta. So there's a good chance it may not see the light of day. But uh, just uh, keeping us on the same page and I'll keep my my so-called ear to the ground with this one and if i get more info i'll let you know so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one